welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from our daily bread on the 24th of March, 2024. The Bible reading today is John 12, 23 to 26. Jesus replied, the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. Very truly, I tell you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, my servant also will be. My Father will honor the one who serves me. Today's article, titled Renaissance in Jesus, was written by Tim Gustafson. We know Leonardo da Vinci as the Renaissance man. His intellectual prowess led to advances across multiple fields of study in the arts. Yet Leonardo wrote of these miserable days of ours and lamented that we die without leaving behind any memory of ourselves in the mind of men. Whilst I thought I was learning how to live, said Leonardo, I was learning how to die. He was closer to the truth than he may have realized. Learning how to die is the way to life. After Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, he said, Unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. He spoke this about his own death but expanded it to include us all. Anyone who loves their life will lose it, while anyone who hates their life in this world will keep it for eternal life. The Apostle Paul wrote of being buried with Christ through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. For if we have been united with him in a death like his, we will certainly also be united with him in a resurrection like his. Through his death, Jesus offers us rebirth, the very meaning of Renaissance. He has forged the way to eternal life with his Father. Let's pray. Dear Father, I can find meaning and purpose nowhere else but in you. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Andrew, and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.